What's up, guys? I'm here with Marab uh, Davalshvili. I think I just fucked your last name up, but but close. Um, the undisputed UFC champion of the world. I mean, amazing. It must feel amazing. So first, congratulations, man. Uh, how does that feel, winning Thank the you, biggest Jake. title in the world? Um, now I'm still still feeling it, man. I, <clears throat> I'm still realize uh, I have a belt now. I was dream, of course. It's every UFC fighter's dream is to win the belt. And uh, I feel everything is same. Just I, I'm a world champion. I have a status yeah. now. Then I have a belt. And uh, I guess I'm the new king now. Yeah, that means though. Also, it means you have a target on your back. Everyone's gunning for you. Right. But that's time to you know to start training harder. Which I know you're a right. you're a hard yeah. worker. So I know you're well aware of that. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I I mean I already I'm keep running. I, I already not training, but I running like jogging. Do, do you run almost every day, or what's your running? No. Routine? So, so when I was uh, living in Georgia, mm -hmm. I used to run like big runs. Oh, so. When I was a kid, I was uh, before the school. I used to wake up early and uh, run, mm -hmm. run to the stadium. Sometimes play soccer morning or just jogging the, the stadium. Uh, and then when I was like a judo judo player, <clears throat> uh, couple years later, I I stopped it because um, you know my coach told me it's too much. You don't need to mm -hmm. run every day. So and uh, I was running Wednesday. We used to have a not practice in in the, in judo. Yeah. And Saturday. So Wednesdays and sa Saturday we used to run to the mountains and do push ups, like some weights. Or sometimes we go to the gym mm -hmm. and uh, lift or play soccer for reaction and it's good. So and then I I, I and then also we used to have a like camp. Like we used to go like two weeks. To the some different city or something, yeah. and we do camp. All the time we was running, maybe mm. two or three times a day. So like now I love running. So when I moved to New York, of course, uh, beginning I wasn't able to training good, yeah. and um, all I can do is running. You know, mm -hmm. so because you didn't have any good training partners. I don't, or? Yeah, first I wasn't. I cannot even find the MMA gym. For, I waste my first oh, wow. year, and then I find the Sarah Longo. But same time, like you know. Uh, not every day, like uh, it was, like you know, best training, and because like I, I only can training nighttime, yeah. um, because I was working full time. Oh, so working full time, yes. Yeah. So when I first started training too, working yeah. and training, and it's hard. What but was your you job? Something. I was working for a moving service. Wow. So I'd yeah, move furniture all day and oh, then, and then go train. It was exhausting. Yeah. Moving but luckily, I was able to start uh, teaching jujitsu after a year or two, and yeah. then so then I could go in, train with my students, make a little bit of money. You know how it is. I was just poor for yeah, poor for four or five years, Fighters, but I, I just yeah. loved it too much. Yeah. What what kind of job were you doing? Um, I was uh, first. Um, I was demolition man, and <laughs> after, of course, like I'm handyman. But then I I I, I came um, little by little. I came carpenter. You know. And, oh wow. Uh, yeah, the hard was, work too. Yeah, but basically I was doing everything like uh, no electrician, no plumbing, but like um, framing, window, door, roofing, uh, floor, concrete, <laughs> whatever you want. In what year were you able to stop uh, stop working and just train full time? Uh, 2020 when COVID wow, hit. That was recently. Yeah, so you've I was only been full time for yeah, four even, years. Yeah, I was in UFC. Wow. So I lost like uh, my first fight in UFC mm -hmm. and. Um, you know, we know how UFC pay, like, you know. Not well, it's not well in the beginning. I'm yeah, sure now you're getting paid well. 10000 and you still have to pay his manager, some expenses. And uh, uh, I buy a car, you know. I, mm -hmm. my, I I was driving a very old car, and then, then no money. In the second fight, I got bonus, even, like, I have controversial laws. I got bonus, but I take off. Uh, I, I stopped working. Yeah. But... When my next fight comes, I was broke again because I spent all this money and I'm like, like, now what? Like, you know, when I yeah. win the next one, I, I keep this money and I start working because I don't want to mm. do uh, happen this one again. Yeah, you don't want to be broke again. Yeah, and then I was, and then because 
And uh, I was an immigrant and I need to fix my papers and like so many stuff like and uh, congratulations on becoming an American citizen by the way. Yeah, it's my honor. Thank you so much, yes, man. That's I, I saw yeah. that a few months ago. Congratulations. So I know Thank you're you. a proud patriot. The kind of people we want. Thank you. So, yeah, about running. Yeah, so now that I have a good training in Vegas, I have so many training partners. I can go jujitsu, I can sparring. Uh, the MMA practice, so I rather do that. Yeah. And if I'm hurt, like if like um, if I have a little bit injury, I will run. Like let's say yeah. my my hand hurts, I will run. If it's Sunday, and I feel good, I will run. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. whenever when I have time, extra time, I will run. But I rather just do practice, even lifting. I don't. I don't lift much because I rather yeah, so do you get jiu -jitsu. most of your cardio just from heavy grappling. Yeah, I guess when you go, you go hard because you have some of the best conditioning in MMA. It's insane. People that haven't watched you fight, it's just insane pressure of attack, attack, shoot, punch, attack. It's just absolutely relentless. Not many wrestlers can keep shooting like that. If people don't know you have the second most takedowns of all time in the UFC behind George St. Pierre, uh -huh. but he has twice as many fights as you in. <clears> the, uh, in the UFC or around, uh, plus many uh, title fights, which are five rounders. You're only, uh, I believe, you're only five takedowns behind George St. Pierre for the most takedowns yeah, of all you're time. Right, you're right, and you have right. the most attempts of any uh, fight of all time. <laughs> I read something like 42 versus, uh, I think it was Peter Yan. Maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. I attacked him 49 times. Yeah, it's just 49 times. If you don't know fighting, that's absolutely insane to be able to yeah. shoot that. Because yeah. it's the most energy is shooting takedowns like that. Yeah. That's why you see a lot but of wrestlers. I set up, you know. <clears throat> It's uh, for me we, with uh, punch and MMA. It's so much easier. Even like we're, even now uh, for jujitsu, I go ten planet sometimes. You know, and um, when I go with the guys, um, I try to mimic a MMA like a hand mm -hmm. movement or like just just show the like like maybe punch and shoot because it's so much easier. I set up take that yeah. timing like as you see with Omali, I was yeah. timing patient. No, no, it's excellent. Yeah. Something you do that a lot of fighters don't do in the gym. Is when you spar, you relentlessly attack like you're fighting. A lot of guys come yeah. in, they don't want to shoot because it's too much effort. Right. So when they, when they fight, they run out of energy. But you're just shoot, shoot, attack. Yeah. No one wants to spar you because they're like, oh man, Rob's gonna, Rob's gonna be a war, you know? Yeah. So yeah, you gotta do it in the practice and sparring because that's where you learn you you, you the timing coming, mm -hmm. and then when you when you hitting some submission in the gym, so you fight. If you have this moment, you will just do it like this. You will close with your eye, right? You know. Yeah, no, hundred percent. So. Yeah. Yeah, but no, like I said, your pressure is just absolutely insane, and you're actually out striking a lot of guys that are supposed to be better strikers than you too. <laughs> I think because you're shooting so much, you start eating them up with right. your. I yeah. think you pretty much all the fights that I've seen, you've been out striking these guys that are supposed to outstrike you. Yeah, like Judd Dotson, he knocks people. He he, he finished TJ Dillashaw. show. A lot of guys, he knock out a lot of guys, but I fight him and I beat him. You know, like he was. I I only take him two times down, John mm -hmm. Dotson. He was very hard to hold it down. Like I shoot him, I take him down, but he because I don't know, he used such a weird technique. When I lift, mm -hmm. I grab him, like lift, but he pushed my head. Yeah. As soon as I take him down, he's up. I'm like, oh. where did this guy go? That's actually one of your few fights I haven't watched, I don't think. I'll go yeah. back and watch that one. Yeah. But I went back and watched your last four or five fights for this interview mm -hmm. and just Yeah. You, you know you know your last five <clears throat> your last four opponents were all former UFC former UFC champs, and the guy before that was a PFL champ. So your last five opponents yeah. have just been absolute killers. And, right. you know, you do, yeah. they were tough fights, but you clearly yeah. won them all. You, I mean, you know, um, Cody Stamen, he, he was one of the, like, people don't know, but he's very hard, hard, hard matchup, like, you know, and he's a good wrestler. Mm -hmm. He hits, and uh, he's been there, like, he's good. And then, like, um, but I know when they give me this fight, you know, uh, I was uh, worried, but like you know, if Corey beat me, it's fine. I'm happy for him. It's a fight. What are you gonna do? You know, mm -hmm. and um, I'm like, I'm just gonna go do my best. And then I was just like, keep doing my thing. I let go. You know, I punch, shoot, punch, shoot. Even he was, you know, he's good wrestler. Get up, whatever. But you know, I I win this. I do win this fight. And like, so like, and he was long time. He was just. What the fuck? How he beat me? I can beat him. Yeah, but it's a fight. You know, sometimes I fight different. You know, maybe in the in the mm -hmm. training, maybe you can beat me. But you know, when we fight, it's different. And now he, I think he realized. Yeah, like, you're <laughs> tough, yeah. Now he like let go. You know, he's like now, ah, it's okay. I move on. Like he finally move on because we people mm -hmm. long time. He said, "Fuck, I don't care. I lost. I have some losses before, but I only." 
I only I only regret how I can fucking lose against this guy. No, your because, style is just insane. Yeah. You're just constantly shooting. You're so hard to deal yeah. with. Even like even up until today, I think a lot of guys don't respect me. Like even O'Malley, he was looking. I'm gonna knock him out. Even Peterian, like he was talking to me. Mm -hmm. Merab don't know wrestling. Man, I don't know fight, <laughs> like, you know. And yeah, why was the guy who talked, what happened in the middle of the fight? Someone was talking crap to you? I saw that when you're like. Uh, I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, so, okay, what happened was, um, you know, Peterian is just bully like this. You mm -hmm. know, he's just naturally born mm -hmm. like bully. Yeah. And um, I guess he was champion and like the little bit kind of consequential, like some like with Aljo, like stuff fight like this. And, yeah, because um, oh, they had bad blood. Yeah, yeah. they had a controversial fight. Right. And then I was in Abu Dhabi and, um, oh yeah, I talk shit about Peter Yan because like I, I said, I told I call him like cheat cheater because he is stupid. Like he knew Aljo when he was down. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, he should know the rules. He was champion. What the yeah. fuck, right? And I was talking shit, like, and not shit, like, I was talking yeah. trash. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. You talk a little crap, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that's, that's, so, we're we're fighters, then, that's what we do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was, you know, and um, I guess he don't, like, then and he, he, I was in Abu Dhabi, and um, he was talking to Aljo, uh, and then I was standing, like, away, like, because I, you know, Peter has a fight coming up, mm -hmm. And I don't want to jump there, whatever, you know, distract him, anything. And he pointed me. He's so small. Peter Yan did? Yeah, yeah. And I go, okay. And then I go and I laugh, you know, I don't want to, like, pay the attention. And I yeah. laugh and I stand next to him. I said, I actually, he was carrying weight and he was still bigger than me. I'm like, wow, yeah, you actually strong, strong. He said, um, and he, like, point like I can knock you out uh, I said how about if I shoot and I try to like set up my like with the punch my takedown mm -hmm. he really stopped me and he like make like, fun like of me yeah like yeah. no he really did like wow I'm like I left mm -hmm. again he said and he he tell Aljo he's zero yes the, you know, he has a broken English but he's like he meaning I'm zero you know like yeah. he said he's zero he's like I'm like okay I mean I left whatever but after and uh, I don't have a fight. I was like, I need a fight. I don't have. And then I, I got a call from UFC. I guess Peter and asked myself. Oh, he asked to fight you. Yeah. You regretted that. I'm like, and then actually, I don't want to fight him. Only guy I don't want to fight him because. So I, I was happy when I was fighting Jose Aldo mm -hmm. because if I lost against him, I, I don't have. I mean, it's, he's a legend. He's a legend. You know? exactly. Aldo is like one of the best of all time. Right. You know? and that exactly. Was, uh, and I think I was yeah. hard to take down. Exactly. Like same Cody Stamen. You know, if he beats me, I will be happy for him. Congratulations! Mm -hmm. You beat me. You, be, you are good. You are better fighter. You know, whatever. So, uh, and uh, but Peter Yan, he's from Russia. He's bully. Like you oh, know. Yeah, and you have some Russians don't. don't yeah, get, we'll get that like, maybe you know, end, But I know you don't love the Russians. Not Russian people, like, yeah, you know, it's people, a country, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a country, country because rival, yeah. they are corruption and they are, they, Russia occupied my country. 20% 20, yeah. 20 of Georgia mm -hmm. are occupied well, by Russia, by, yeah. so, and then, like, they are my enemies, you know, when mm -hmm. they come, of course, we treat them as a uh, guest and no problem. Of course, they love our yeah. food, they love our hospitality, but they throw bombs in city and they kill people and then we are small country and because of we have a good territory why are you killing us you know what I'm saying let's just be friends with everybody yeah. what, what year did their occupation of georgia end so first uh, 1991 uh when when they take abkhazia and then second i was 17 year old uh, uh 2008 um uh, they occupied ossetia uh, and um, like so many people lost their home, so many people we lost so many people, and they throw bombs in capital city, wow. and and um, yeah, it was not long ago. I and didn't then, realize it was the, that soon. I thought it was yeah, like in the nineties. I, I didn't know. realize because that you were seventeen. Wow, so this is yeah, like very. Uh, this is very in your mind still. Right. Wow. Because a lot of people don't know about this because war was like when they mm -hmm. attack us, we attack back, mm -hmm. uh, and then we actually defend ourselves, but. Mm -hmm. um, they throw bombs and then uh, we say the our government said okay okay mm -hmm. we give up you know because like people was dying and Did you watch friends and stuff die in this war yeah man my i have a two older brothers and mm -hmm. they was both in army and um uh and then no the thank god they they they, they nothing happened with them but like family members they die and uh, so i will lose uh, like uh, you know the army uh, army you know some so many army 
people from army yeah. and so many mutual friends and uh, and so in eight days the war stopped in uh, war was only eight days so that's oh, why so it started quick, yeah. go crazy of course the world no but and then we give up because you know because it was like you know when they throw bombs and we mm -hmm. say okay okay let's talk like you know saying okay take it whatever you already take it and then stop it and then but you know now we try to conversation but um anyway so that's why it's like they, the the a government uh they're enemy to us you know so yeah. that's why like it's a political because like uh, when you're fighting somebody enemy to your country, yeah. you wanna win. It's a little yeah. extra personal. No, yeah, I, I, I totally cannot, get it. It's yeah, extra personal. Cannot, yeah. Maybe it's not against them, but it's just it's a control rivalry. Right. I've seen some Russians throwing shade at you too. I think it was um, Islam or someone I saw said something yeah. about you. I can't remember what it was. Ah, uh, so yes, that's a different story. But yeah, no, uh, no, yeah, that's because because okay, no, Islam not Islam say so. So we all know the Khabib and Islam, they are from Dagestan. Yeah. Hamzat is from Chechnya. Uh, Mosar Evloy from um, uh, Ingushetia. Mm -hmm. uh, they are all on, in the, I mean, not, it's not in different countries, but all different countries. Yeah, you know? they're not Small exactly, it's not exactly Russia. No, no, they are Muslim people. They have mm -hmm. own culture, own tradition, yes. type of We call them Caucasian people, like because yeah. we have a Caucasus mountain, Caucasus them, right? mountains, yeah. yeah. Mountain. So we are this side, they are other side. And then, but now, so like, I'm not gonna say occupied, but yeah, somehow the, the Russia take over those countries and they have to represent Russia. They have to bow down to Russia. Yeah, so, so, so like and I say, when somebody asks me, uh, Umar is, from Russia, uh, that's why you don't. I said no, Umar not from Russia. He's from Kalk He's from Dagestan. He's Caucasian, yeah. you know. And like we are, we are friends, and they are tough people like Georgia, you know. They're mm -hmm. good to worry about. So I said he's he's from Dagestan, but he he just represents the uh, um, the Russian flag. I understand, but he's he's not a. But Islam say not actually Russian, yeah. Yeah, but Islam say. No, we are part of the Russia. So I understand, you know, it's Yeah, like, it, it nah. gets complicated. So yeah, yeah U U Umar is likely your next opponent, it's looking like. Yeah, I guess like, you know, I, I was keep saying and I'm keep saying he don't deserve it because yeah. he only fought um, one guy from tough uh, 15. I mean... Uh, yeah, he hasn't, he's been really hyped up, but he hasn't fought. And like like I just said, your last four fights were all UFC champs, you know? Right. I don't think he has the same level of competition he's fought as you. He's been kind of hyped up because he's Khabib's cousin, right? Yes, So exactly. they're kind of like... It's easy to market this mm, guy. So and then they're kind of giving him easier fights. Yeah, yeah they, should, they should make him fight a really tough one. Make him fight O'Malley or make him fight... Uh, Peter yeah, Yan, at least, so many, or Jose Aldo, I don't yeah. know about us fighting, but one of those guys. Yeah, that is Bautista, you know, like, like all the know. last four or five, four guys you fought, he could fight any of them. Right, but so yeah, so P the Peterian fight, um, yeah. So anyway, he was then and then also in person, personal, he's a little bit crazy guy, you know, mm -hmm. Peterian like bully, like you know, and um, that's why like I'm like. I can't lose against this guy because if if you fight yeah. and uh, if you lose against uh, like a good guy, fuck it, you know, move on. Yeah, you know, it's a fight. Who cares? And but like just personal. I prefer it when I really don't like someone like that. It's a fighter. It's easier to get re mentally ready for it when you really don't like the guy. Yeah. When you like someone, it's hard to get ready for it, right? When wow. it's like you really like the guy, it's just hard to have that same fire. <laughs> but I still beat them. I, I, I love Josie Aldo, but I still beat That's true. Know? <laughs> I know. I've beaten some of my idols too, which is a yeah. little weird, you know, like yeah. Dan Henderson, some of these guys wow. I grew up looking up to, and then you have to step in the cage and fight them. It's a little yeah, weird, but, but it is what it's... It's also a good feeling. Yeah. So uh, back to... Uh, circle back to... um. Whose jacket did you steal? Was that O'Malley's? I remember you stole it. That was hilarious. Yeah, you yeah, stole yeah. the jacket. Yeah. And, uh, looked good on you, by the way. Better on yeah, you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you ever get it back or no? You should have kept yeah, it. Yeah, actually. Well, I was going to keep it, but um, then I was... Uh, Dana made you give it back. Uh, yeah, he told oh. me, give him back. And, okay, I said, oh, Dana okay. should let you keep it. Be like, let, yeah. let O'Malley get it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. So like I said before, like, he can have his jacket. I take his the belt title. now. Yeah, let's talk. We haven't talked about that yet. Let's talk about. Let's go back to the fight. So, how was your preparation? I saw you got stitches right before, and did you take them out yourself? Yeah, I saw Dana was not happy about that. <laughs> I know. That's what I do all the time. I take stitches uh, by myself. You know, I, I agree. I it's easier, but yeah. people get all weird about it. But yeah. why go to a doctor? Yeah, exactly. Like, and especially if it's like, 
I mean, yeah, like if it's not like infection or if you don't have like anything, if it's your your cut is healed up. Mm-hmm. Where, where was your cut? I don't even see it. It's so it was oh, this okay, one. I see it now. Yeah, yeah and right this. before a fight, it's a little yeah. scary. Right above your eye because it's completely yeah. dry. Yeah, yeah. And then I so when when I open my eye, I'm like, oh, it's gonna take like five six days and I'll be fine. Um, and uh, so I I'm like to make sure okay I go do I will do stitches. When I was doing stitches. Oh, I want to look. And I open phone. Oh, let me go um, like Instagram story to yeah, look, yeah. you know. Oh, maybe let me go live, you know. Yeah. Like I want to, and then when I go, there are a lot of people watching. I'm like, oh, a lot of people are interesting. And I keep it live there. Mm-hmm. And then a couple hours later, then oh, it was mad. <laughs> yeah, I seen him. He was not happy. Yeah, but whatever. But you healed I'm, up. You're yeah, fine. Exactly. Took out your own stitches. And yeah. what was that, two, like three weeks before the fight? Or that yeah, was, I had time. So pretty yeah. close. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. close, though. Three weeks you're cutting yeah. it. Because you can recut was, easier. But I was confident. So he don't, he don't open. Mm-hmm. So I don't, yeah. yeah. he didn't hit you much. Yeah. <laughs> How was the preparation for the fight other than that? Like, um, I was focused on myself, like, always um, uh, just training every day, do my best. You know, this time I try to not train it crazy because, uh, so let's say before a couple camps, I was training crazy. And, then I, you know, the body hits and then, like, and then you just... I don't know what to say. You start falling. I know the feeling where your body starts falling apart, and you yeah. start feeling worse. But you peak too early, and you feel worse for fight time. Right, and then I have to take off like two days. Why I peak too early, and then you're yeah, just like, and then you just you can't like you have to take two days off. I'm like, I don't want to train train hard and um, take two three days off when you break down, mm-hmm. like your body break. And I'm like, let me training every day smart, like not not too crazy because yeah. let's control. And then I did the same thing, you know, I don't kill myself. And um, preparation was like simple, like yeah, I was I was sparring. I had the guy from Georgia who was a very good kickboxer. He was fighting and Ket- then now it's Kenton and Sirius and I was sparring with him all the time. His name is Otari. And um, yeah, I have like uh, like, you know, Lots of my size training yeah. partners. Lots of guys. There's a and lot of guys in Vegas around your size. Yeah. It's so stacked full of 35 yeah. pounders here. Yes. and uh, Like the best 35 pounders in the world are in Vegas. Right. Like you and you the, used to spar some of my guys a lot, like the Basharat brothers. Yeah. It's just great sparring sessions. Patchy for, Mix. I mean, Patchy, sure. Patchy, in my opinion, is probably oh, the best guy outside yeah, the UFC, sure. the Bellator champ. Yeah, Absolute pa- phenom. Right. And Patchy has a very awkward style. You know, he's tall, stand left. If you shoot him, he's going to get it. Yeah, he's hard to yeah, deal yeah, with. It's very hard. Because you're, you're just so attacked, but with him, you have to be a little more cautious because yeah. you because his beginning I had hard is. times. Now I'm okay. I mean, yeah. I'm doing oh, I'm doing okay. Like you know, he's, yeah, he's the bylaw. You know, I, think, bylaw. You know, yeah. I hate to say outside the UFC, but I think you and you, I think you and him are the two best guys in the world. Yes, and hopefully, they'll do a sure. crossover match at some for point. For sure, man. Friends like, with both you guys, but yeah, that was, he, from a fan, that would be such yeah, a phenomenal yeah, fight. He's he's really like he's for sure like yeah. I guess yeah, we are we are me and Pachi Mix, we are the really the best guys in yeah. the world today. Which usually the best guys are all in the UFC or not always, but this is a case for one of the best guys is outside the UFC. Right, but, right, right, yeah. So yeah, to, he's not the, in UFC, but I would say yes, he's the Pachi Mix is yeah, like we probably, are the yeah. Yeah, me and like, yeah said, if from a fan I would just love to watch you two guys go at it. <laughs> and it'll, yeah, pro- it'll probably happen. I imagine UFC would yeah. is gonna probably try to bring yeah, him over. Like um I just know he's getting paid pretty well over yeah. in um Yeah, so I hope I hope I'm. Uh, I don't want to fight Pachi Mix. Cause yeah, your friends. No, your friends. But I hope I stay champion. I keep a winning. Yeah. And then whenever Pachi decides to, or if if it's time to come, yeah. he wants to come UFC. And then he, mm-hmm. if he's it's time to fight for the belt. Of course, like we're not gonna say to fight for the UFC. Yeah. We're not gonna only say no belt, to yeah. only for UFC belt. Yeah, yeah, only for the belt. Would you yeah. ever fight Sterling? I know he's like one of your best friends or best friends. No, I, and like especially now, like no, like you know, no, like no, I don't, I don't want to fight. But like, <laughs> I mean, like Sterling said before, if they throw like so fucking <laughs> millions, money, yeah, yeah so, millions of okay, dollars, okay, good point, yeah. and then you know, like we we fucking we maybe you know, like like. I don't know. We will talk. I don't know yeah. saying like, but I, but you know, like, so the, but I, UFC never offer. Yes, I did say yeah. I never fight. Maybe yeah. that's why, because you, that's why UFC never offer me. Mm-hmm. That's why they make me fight after I beat Josie Aldo and I was supposed to fight for the bed. That's why they make me fight Peter Ian, maybe. That's why they make me fight um, Henry. Yeah. Then, then finally they give me, but I understand. Um, 
Uh, maybe that's why, but like Justin, I want to say that you, if UFC really send us contracts with daytime, you guys have to fight. And then, okay, okay, maybe. I think it's better he moved up away. You guys are such good yeah. friends. Like me right. and Nick Diaz were such good friends. So we had a deal that we wouldn't fight. Yeah. We were both in strike force. He had the 70 pound belt and I went over there. So I just went to 85s and took it who, there, who, you know? Who? Uh, Nick Diaz. Nick Diaz, yeah. Because yeah, we were yeah. like, we came up training together since we yeah. were like teenagers. So yeah. it's like, we can't fight, you know, right. when, we're, when we're this close. It's just, there's no way we could fight right. each other, you it's know? Really, really Same with Nate, too, but he was like more like the little brother and he was the yeah. way below me. So. Yeah, yeah. So exactly, man. Like, it's very really, we are we are we are really good friends. Like we are we are living next to each other now, even Vegas. And then mm -hmm. every day he comes my house. I know his how to get his house. He knows coming. You know sometimes when he was away in New York. And every day I go, I give the flowers water. Yeah, <laughs> like, you guys are like no, you guys are like always together. Best friend. Yeah. That's your main training partner. Yeah. You yeah. guys kind of coach each other too, correct? Yeah, so he's in my corner. I mean, I'm his corner, and then like we are competent. We trust. You know, it's. Uh, yeah, we coach each. He was my corner now, yeah. and then of course he helped me a lot. You know, having a training partner that helps coach you is massive. That's that was right. like me and Nick Diaz. We helped each other out as coaches and all that. That's when when someone's helping coach each other, it's like really hard to fight each other at right. that point. Yeah, yeah. I was sometimes I was when he had the fight. I was sometimes TJ Dill show. Sometimes had mimicate, you know, his opponents. Mm -hmm. Same thing to him. Like to like for every time like. He, he has he he has fight. He was training, but he's, we we did work a little bit. Me and Aljo for this camp, and he was trying to switch stand for like O'Malley do mm -hmm. and move like O'Malley, you know. The, and then of course coach, and he knows to what's going on there, you know. What I'm saying and yeah, 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 he knows the feeling. And yeah, uh, who's your other main coaches you had? You started out with uh, Ray Longo, yeah. correct? So when I start training in New York, um, uh, I started training in Ray Longo's coach and. Um, and then, uh, and then for jujitsu, uh, we I, I used to I go to like uh, the time I the Tuesday nights I was going to Met Sarah gym and the mm -hmm. jujitsu coach was Met Sarah, and um, yeah, he's he's phenomenal. Met Sarah's yeah, a friend of mine, amazing he, coach, amazing yeah, person. Yes, very nothing but good things to say about that guy. Yeah, man, I love him, and um, so and then so so yeah, Met Sarah and Ray Longo, they are my coaches and team. And I still represent them, and um, uh, so here, yeah. But here in Vegas, you guys can run your own camps, right? You can help each other run your own camps. Right, out here, it appears like right, right. So yeah, here's so much easy. But now, uh, yeah, like now I start. I, I I training at Syndicate, and then um, the John Wood style. I, I like. I like. He helped mm -hmm. me a lot. Like last couple of training camp, and then he's now he he did came also my coach now mm -hmm. he's my coach and this uh, my three coach like Red, Matt Sarah, Ray Longo and um, John Wood because I, I train here because so even like um, it's easier in Vegas than so New York. much easier it's man hard and everything is like so easy in, so in much easier traffic's usually not bad there's right. traffic over here but that's like rare yeah. but it's usually there's no traffic it's easy getting around to the gym yeah, so you have, people you have, everywhere to train with right you have UFCPI for when you fight UFC you get free food it's easy you don't have to cook you don't have to think you just pick up food and then or go there eat or like uh, so many fighters coming from New York or from Georgia everybody come here you know everybody has a time here and exactly like you said, everything is closed. So many benefits he has for you, for, for the fighters. Yeah, no, it's great. What What's your typical day training? You usually do two a days, or what's your? So, I wake up, uh, and also I like what I like about this syndicate because it's a morning training. So eleven thirty, it's a perfect time. I get good sleep. I go eleven thirty to one. Mm -hmm. So I my first training session, I finish morning. I don't eat, I don't just, I wake up, just maybe eat apple and just drink water and go to the practice. Finish one, it's a time to lunch. So take shower, eat lunch. And uh, the, it's about to answer my emails, text, uh, important, you know, because I'm- the girls. Girls, <laughs> of course, make sure I make some. <laughs> and, um, uh, and, uh, and then, if I have energy, either I go jujitsu or um, maybe swim sometimes, or maybe you know depends. Yeah. If I, I training something, you know. Yeah, the morning uh, one's really hard in the afternoon. Morning ones, and yeah. You kind of fill your body for that. Training. Right. So and then yeah, usually I train second time, and um after second training, uh, yeah, after second training, I'm pretty beat up, and yeah, it's maybe girls' time, dinner time, mm -hmm. uh, and I go home, and but. 
uh, and then between I have to, sometimes I have to find the, ma- the I'm, you know now I'm making these uh, skits and then now mm. I have to think about video ideas make yeah, right. takes time you know some but you know, I had fun you know that's mm. just like this you know do you believe in no sex before a fight no just um, one week yeah one yeah, week. yeah I don't some of those guys would go a couple months and like you guys are crazy no I ain't, I ain't no, going I ain't going a couple months without sex no. I'll pass on that no thanks. No, exactly. No, no. I don't believe this bullshit. You know, Maybe a couple of days. Because when you're cutting weight, Co- you don't want to eat. Yes. Like, once I... Once you start we, cutting weight, yeah. Hey, that's that's my thing. Yeah, once I start diet, then, yeah, I'm like, I'm, I'm fine. I don't know. When I was fighting in Japan, there'll be like girls waiting at the hotel. So I was like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, no. I will I will never risk uh, my weight cut or, or like my fight because of... Because like I said, the, if I don't cut weight... Mm-hmm. Then it wouldn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But because I cut weight, I I don't want to. I think like the rate the reason boxers used to tell guys no girls must for a fight is because you get wore out chasing the girls, not the actual sleeping with them. It's running out. You're out late. You're trying uh, to meet them. I think that's the problem. Yeah, but some people believe like um, even the guy, Mexican guy who uh, who was uh, he's trying to send the extreme. Um, Which one? Um, the guy who the, it was, was he, good was fight, he, fight of the night. Or? No, he was fighting at the spear now. Uh, he Rodriguez maybe. No. I'm not. He sure. just lost the fight of the night. Oh, um, I think you're talking about. I can't even yeah, yeah. know. Yeah. He say he don't do like no sex, no hand. Like <laughs> he say he did six weeks or something, like or eight weeks. I don't know something. I mean, some people believe this. Uh, if you believe it, it's probably better to do what you believe. Yeah. But if you don't believe it, it's not necessary. Yeah, yeah. So no, no. It's like you go crazy. So no, it's. So let's go back to the uh, title fight you just won. Let's talk about that. So first off, how was fighting at the Sphere? Unfortunately, I was out of town, so I wasn't there, but it looked pretty awesome on TV. It was a great experience for sure. Um, so when we go there, like we, of course, we have a locker rooms, and um, we was watching fights on the TV, mm-hmm. and uh, the, the the when they showed the backgrounds and everything, wow! All I want to do is watch. You know, I forgot to warm up and yeah, stuff. It looked crazy, right? Yeah, it looked too much going on. It would be much. probably weird walking out. Yeah, but after it was time to me walk in, mm-hmm. and they put on my music, and uh, I have a fight, and it was like nothing, mm-hmm. nothing like oh my god or something. You know, what I'm saying I was just. Did yeah. you feel calm walking out there? Yeah, very calm. I don't feel anything Good. different than any other. Yeah, feeling different. Yeah, I think the, no. for me the craziest walkout was when I fought George St. Pierre because it was like 60,000 live. And it was just a brief second when I walked out and saw how big the crowd was. It was a quick little throw off. Yeah. But then I go, George is going to have to do the same thing, get the head back together. You know, then I was fine. Wow, I just looked yeah. up, never seen a crowd that big. Wow. And you're just like, whoa. And so it was a quick little like, all right, get myself back together, <laughs> relax. Wow. You always you always look really relaxed in your fights though. You look like you're never worried, yeah. having fun. Later, b- is that faking it or are you a little bit? No, um, not- I I don't really feel it. I actually like last couple fights for sure. Oh, Peter, I mean no, I, he made me come. I was nervous before the fight when they give me this fight. First, I think I wasn't allowed to have my plug. First, I go. I never had tattoo before. I go and then I. Got my tattoo here, Georgian yeah. plug. I want to represent Georgian plug, you yeah, know. I want to have yeah. a plug. So you, got, so you had a lot riding on it. Yeah, I just imagine like like seven weeks before they give me this fight, main event, fighting the guy that I don't want to fight because I don't want to lose against him. Yeah. But I have to start training today, right? Hard, like preparation, but I need to represent my plug and I go do a tattoo, you know, after tattoo, you can really train in the like, next couple of days. I was running, whatever. And uh, and and then I was nervous. Every other fight, like I said, like Jose Aldo, I was fine. If he, if I, I'm going to do my best, and if I lose, fuck it, whatever. But Peter, and I don't want to lose. And uh, the, I made way in the pace off. I go there, and now I want to um, pace off like we all do, with respect, and just mm-hmm. the pace off. And he comes and he just, I'm there waiting, like you watching me now, he's looking this way, this direction. I'm like, what's this guy doing? I'm like, I'm here. Yeah. Like he's not, I'm here, bitch. And then he comes, <laughs> like he's acting tough, like, and then he touch me like this. Oh shit. Yeah, he hit me like throw, like catch me like this. I'm like, you are bitch. I see you tomorrow. I'm like, and then he make me come, like, I'm like, okay, you really motherfucker. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna fight you hard. That's why he fucked up, and I'm like, I will fucking like 
do what I did yeah. to him. Yeah, I wanna... no, that was a great fight. You outstruck yeah. him because you know you're shooting and you're hitting yeah. him. That's yeah. the thing. People always think these guys are better strikers than you, but because you're shooting so much, you become the better striker. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, exactly, man. It's it's hard. So like um everybody thinks when you when you when you look them, yeah, this guy I, I don't know how to strike, I don't know how to wrestle. Him. You're like, okay, yeah, I'm sure I don't know how to strike. Okay, Let's get in there but, and find uh, out. Yeah. Yeah, but listen, I'm gonna do everything to beat your ass up, you know. So and then yeah. And you also outstruck O'Malley. You hit him way more. It was a impressive performance. I thought you won four rounds. Two of the judges had it three to two. I think he's the big money guy, you know? Yeah, man. Did uh, you feel like you won uh, four rounds or most of the rounds? Uh, so, yeah, fourth round, yeah, I dominate him. Um, but, yeah, the three, I mean, I, I, oh, I, I no, no. Right? for me, I, I, I feel I win everything. But judges yeah. score a little bit different, but mm -hmm. I win, I win for sure. So, okay, what happened in fifth round is um, uh, uh, after I watch fight, then the memory comes up. So, okay, I take him down mm -hmm. and then I hold him down. He don't want to get up because he knows I will lift yeah. big and then, like I did to hand yeah, him. Yeah, you run him across he's waiting slam. for me and then I'm like, Throwing knees to the thigh, you know, like how painful yep. is this? And I, I'm holding good, and then and just knee him, knee him, knee him. And I'm waiting for him to make a move. Either I'm going to punch or I'm going to attack the submission because it's the fifth round. I yeah. can't go risk now. You know, if I lose the position, yeah, it's okay. I fuck it. But I know I win the first four rounds, right? And the hair didn't call me move. War, no, he called me work fighter. And then I switched the position. He said, work. I'm like, I mean, I already work. Yeah, I'm you're, like, you're what are you going to do? Legs up, yeah. And then I, I let go. I give up. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, I was holding guy. Mm -hmm. I was in dominant position. I let go. And um, once I let go, and then it, it was strike. And then we was just standing. I tried a couple times, shoot again. He defend good. And then he throw body, body, body. Yeah, that one good body one, kick. But yeah. I'm like, you okay, you let me know. The now. body shots hurt way more than headshots in fights. Yeah, so I'm like, okay. And then, okay, let me make sure I I, I recover. I mean, it's, I wasn't hurt. Like, you know, like, yeah, I feel it. Yeah, but, but there's like, no way you're going to No. Play, yeah. Sometimes even it makes you even yeah, more. It pisses to, you off because you yeah. knew you are about to win that title and you weren't right. going to let anything. No, yeah, no, take no. It away. No, whatever I was, and then. I wait a little bit and then I take him down again. I finish on top. So that was the 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 the, the referee did affect me fifth round. Otherwise, it was good. Like the uh, uh, then you know what was crazy. I don't know if you saw like once I start fighting the he's. What do you think about this? I have to ask you, Jake, this uh, because uh, what do you think about this? If when you're fighting and then other corner mentioning your name, hey, let's say Jake, do this, do this. I don't like it. It pisses me off. Don't yeah. fuck off. Yeah, man. But it's, it's, it's disrespectful. It's, yeah. Yeah, because you went off on that guy, huh? Yeah. like <laughs> Being disrespectful punk. Yeah, especially when I saw he did the same thing to Aljo. I'm like, bro, why are you calling mm. my name? I said, coach your guy. Like, yeah, just coach your guy. Be like a man, you know what I'm saying? If you believe your guy, just he can beat me. He can knock me out. Yeah, you guys was mentioning you mm -hmm. can knock me out. Knock me out, bro. Why have to tell me, mm -hmm. right, what I have to do? You know, because he, and then... And then the help didn't stop in, you know, I'm, I'm fine, whatever, you know, you know, whatever. And then second time, I grab him, choke, and then I, once I grab, and then like a couple seconds later, I heard the bell. She ring. started kissing him on the back. Yeah, and then I'm like, oh, it's only 10 seconds, and the show, I want to show him who is the real daddy here, you know, mm -hmm. and then I kiss him. And then the help him. Hey, stop that! And I told, I told the time. They stopped the round, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, I let go. You're not I allowed. To, you're not allowed to kiss in MMA, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I, I walk away, and then, and then over like punch. Oh, and then I protect myself right away. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he was pissed. He was pissed and came yeah, out of yeah. yard right there. That was funny. Yeah. I think you but kissed I'm, him like six times on the back, and then yeah. let him go. And because like I said you thought it was over, you started walking away, yeah, and he yeah. rushed. But I'm fine with this. I, I, I had too much fun. He hit me. I'm, I'm fine. That's, that's. Uh, I don't have an issue. Those shots didn't hurt at all. No, I mean no. I little, yeah. no 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 not hurt like nothing. I I feel it makes me turn around. What the fuck? I realize as soon as he punched me. Of course, like I'm you know. Yeah. Uh, I realize. Like, oh shit! I'm back and I'm in the fight. Yeah, still, yeah. I mean I'm still in. I realized that that wasn't mm -hmm. time. That was uh, just only. Yeah. You know, like great uh, credit on him to react so quick to still be that sharp to come after you though. That was, yes. that was good reflexes on his part.
Yeah, to realize for sure. like, oh I, oh, I can get him from behind right now because that yeah. was still legal. So I got to give him some credit for that. Yeah, but you know, after the fight, he was humble. That's all I, I was scared. You know, he was O'Malley was humble. Like he said, hey, no excuse. I lost the fight. I did, I did everything. You know, and then, mm -hmm. but today he make funny video, and I have another funny video. I'm gonna go home and make funny video to back oh, yeah. to him. <laughs> uh, O'Malley made a funny video, or yeah, no? Yeah, O'Malley. I don't know. We can, we can play here. No, not funny video. First, he said he said he got robbed. I heard, which I think is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. The second video. First, he say, he say uh, he put a belt. You know, he, he. He's he, wearing a lot of pink on this. <laughs> yeah. First. Yeah. Why does he have a belt? You have the belt. He's got that no, belt. No, he, 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 he did good here. Like he said, I'm, I'm, I'm a. He saved the belt. He said, I'm out of here. Okay, so he's respecting you a little. The first, yesterday, you see, you see a lot of likes, a lot of people. Yeah, he's putting the belt in the suitcase. Yeah, and then he's living right. Mm. And then the second video, maybe scroll. Okay, the second video today. Watch, now he's coming back today. Oh, trying to act like he's taking the belt back. Yeah, he said, he said, yeah, I win the fight. Would you do a rematch with him? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That might make more sense and have yeah. uh, Umar fight. Fuck you, Rob. You're still a bitch. Saying, fuck you. I'll yeah. call you a bitch. Okay, then now I can. So that makes you want to I smack love this him, because yeah. now I can make fun of him. You yeah, know what because now he's called war after you beat him. You can't yeah. beat someone and start making fun of him. That's, like, that's <laughs> fucked up. But if he okay. starts talking shit, then you can. Yeah, no, I'm not mad. You know, I'm not yeah. mad or something. I just I can have fun now. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. make fun with you. I would love to rematch with him. I think it's gonna be so. I now this time I will finish him. But I, you know, I how I beat and I don't. I, I really want to take a next challenge, you know. I think that the most deserving guy is Pigaredo, but I guess UFC wanted to me fight Umar. Every like people I see the comments, everybody wanted me fight Umar. I will fight Umar. You'll fight He's whoever. I like that. You'll fight whoever. Yes. It's yes. not who you think deserves it, but you're willing to fight him. Yes, I yeah, exactly. Like I don't think but he deserves. But also Malik could be an interesting rematch. That's oh, a big money. Re that's a big money rematch to. again. That's a I huge. would love. I hope he's keep talking, and yeah. I hope UFC make this fight happen. But yeah, I like I like him more more too. So it's like they're all good fights, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course, like I mean, Umar is new challenge. You know, mm -hmm. we all know ne oh, next. Oh, he's tough. He's definitely good. He yeah. just has a fairly padded record, like we said. But he's sure. really he's really good. There's no doubt yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, of course. But and then also same time the guys like this makes me even more hard mm -hmm. and go more hard. And um um uh, like I said, uh so um, have you have you trained with him? Because he's in Vegas a lot too. No, with thank God I don't. You guys have never trained yet. I, I will feel we are the yeah, I, I never train with him and um yeah, I don't like it because when I training I don't I don't train I mean I I training Maybe long, like a lot of rounds, mm -hmm. but I don't go hard. I don't win. You the, look like you go pretty hard. You really? maul people. No, like when I, when I, when we go, I go yeah. rounds with you. I have to. I want to give you a good. I don't want to be bitch or mm -hmm. you stronger than me. You more experienced yeah. than me. You way a better. Wake, the a couple weight classes up from yeah, you, a couple but. weight classes up, and then I have to give you a good look. Mm -hmm. You know. I, I I don't want to yeah. waste your time, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's why okay, I go yeah. so with yeah. you. I your, go your, your with. I try my best. Your strength is insane. I would yeah. like to say you're probably the strongest pound for pound guy I've ever wrestled yeah. with. It's yeah. usually 35 pounders I can just throw around, but with you I grab you and I'm like, holy crap, wow. this guy is strong. Wow, thank that's you. That's why I'm surprised you don't do wow. that much weights. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. If like I said, if I'm injured or if I have time, if I miss practice, yeah. if I'm traveling now, I'm gonna travel. I won't have my training mm -hmm. partners. I will lift. I will run. I will do like whatever I can, you know. Yeah. But I don't. I don't know how to like. Uh, so so I tell you, in Georgia when I was training, I was training Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is a workout day, yeah. like uh, running, lifting. Thursday, Friday, uh, training, and then Saturday was hard like workout day, and then Sunday off. But. Um, yeah, I don't do the. I don't do. The, I training every day. Yeah, your strength insane. I've seen you take guys like two fifty at the gym and just toss them around like the throws <laughs> you have and the pickups. It's like there's not many thirty five. Those guys wasn't your level, you know. Yeah, sometimes you see these big guys call you out, think they're in training with you. I'm just like, oh, this poor guy is just <laughs> get embarrassed, especially yeah. if there's girls watching. <laughs> oh yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, man. But um, oh yeah, let's go back real quick to um, training in Georgia. You have a very unusual style. I, I read you did wrestling. 
uh, sambo, judo, and obviously do jiu-jitsu. So your style is so unique. Not many American <laughs> guys have, because not a lot of sambo in America. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. It's a tough so, style to deal with. Okay, let me tell you, Jake, this. Um, so first I started training uh, judo when I was very young, like six, seven years old, mm -hmm. and then the, 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 the gym is closed and I stopped it, and then I continued training when I was 12. I started Quekoroma. Mm -hmm. And I realized... That wasn't my, I, I like judo more. Judo was more popular. And then I started training in judo. And then in judo 2008, they changed the rules. And um, so actually I started, I started, I same time I was doing judo, like 2007, I started competing in sambo too. It's, it's very similar sport, a mm -hmm. little bit different. Like it's like a, a little more submissions in it, correct? Or I don't know too much about yeah, sambo. Yeah, a little bit different. So, okay, sambo. N n so, there is two types of sambo. There is a wrestling sambo and the combat sambo. Mm -hmm. the, the the wrestling sambo is popular in Georgia. And then in, it was... The combat sambo. The combat so sambo is the... It wasn't popular before. And then we have a wrestling sambo. Mm -hmm. And so, like uh, like judo, jiu-jitsu, you know, like whatever. Yeah. So, like, okay, no punch, right? Yeah. So, and then, so in, in wrestling sambo, whatever I was doing, it's like similar like a judo, but different is in sambo, you can do leg lock, mm -hmm. but like no twisting, like no leg twist or like no, no ankle lock. Yeah. Or like, like don't grab the, don't, you cannot grab the toes also. Mm -hmm. No grab the toes. You just can, just whatever. It's knee bar mm -hmm. and like this, a little bit different. But no choke in, in sambo. Oh, you can't choke. In judo, you can choke. Uh, uh, and uh, so, yeah, so in judo, yeah, no leg lock. Mm -hmm. I think it's good, though, because your style is so different. A lot of guys have trouble. Yeah. Like, you do but, a really cool move when you're on a guy's back where you kind of, I got to show you the clip where you kick the foot out. I want to learn from you when we train. I'll, I'll find the clip so I can show yeah, you where you're okay. kind of on the back and you're kind of, you do this weird where you kick the foot and they just kind of fall over. I'll find the clip and show wow, you. I want you okay. to show me next time we train. Wow, it's, okay. Uh, but you do some really unique yeah. stuff. So, okay. And uh, so I did Greco, Judo, Sambo, and now wrestling. And, um, you know, sometimes we're training like without, we wrestling without gi, mm -hmm. you know, but it's not the same. But when I came here and then I, in Georgia, I had nine fights. But mm -hmm. unfortunately, this doesn't show my professional record, but it was oh, professional sucks. fights. But yeah, yeah. professional. I have nine wins. But I came here and I have to start everything from amateur, zero. Mm -hmm. I cannot even get MMA amateur fights. And I, I was fighting four times in boxing mm -hmm. and amateur boxing and two times in kickboxing. Imagine yeah. me wrestling. Just you know, you couldn't find fights. It's hard, yeah. it's hard going fights, especially yeah. someone like you. You're from another country. Right. The promoters want to sell tickets. Yeah. You're not going to sell tickets you know, until you're a big the, name because yeah. they, they want to get local guys. Right. So they, right. they won't use you because they're yeah. like, well, I can't sell tickets off them. So right. it's so hard then, to get those yeah. early fights. And then, yeah, especially New York and like that, that, that area, like, you know, okay, whatever. Anyway, so, and when I start fight. I realized I was missing something, the jiu-jitsu, man. Jiu-jitsu and jiu-jitsu. Yeah. And I started training. That time I was only training once a week with Metzera. Uh, but, and then after when I, like, a little bit, like, I, if I make two times a week, then I was, like, mm -hmm. very happy because I need jiu-jitsu. Now all I do is try jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu, jiu-jitsu. Mm -hmm. Now I feel like last two years I get so really much better. Yeah. So much better because... Well, if yeah. you take someone down, just nice ability to keep them down and do yeah. submissions. So. Yeah. Now, like a lot of people see, I can't control. I can, but I don't want to do it. I, I, I don't know. I have mm -hmm. style. I'd rather be on top and, yeah, I don't want everything. But, yeah. So, I I mean, my jujitsu is more competent, but I'm, I'm keeping it this way. I, if you get up, I let you go, you know. And yeah, because you're take able to take them down. back down. So, yeah. it's not that big of a deal if you can take them back right. down. Right. So, overall, how was how was growing up in Georgia? I don't really know. I know very yeah. little about the country. <laughs> Georgia, yeah. and we're not talking about Georgia the state. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very cool country. Mm -hmm. It's a Christian country, mm -hmm. but we have like, of course, Muslim, Jewish, living, living all together. We have some Armenians and Azerbaijan also like national, like lives in Georgia, you know, but they're like, you know, like here, like, I don't know. So they live in Georgia too, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's, and then it's a very, we all live good, you know, yeah. like no fight each other or like nothing, no drama. And it's a cool country. Uh, safe and clean. Safe and clean. So when it, war happened, 
1991, after everybody lost the job, and it was no gas, no electric, no electrician. And then the Georgian stuff people, you know, we always been gangsters, and mm. we, you know, like we have like um, um, mafias. Yeah. You know, and uh, and uh, everybody wanted to be gangster. Everybody wanted to be mafia. You know, we call like um, I don't want to say what can I, so we could have different names, yeah. so mafia, and. Um, but uh, uh, including me, because mm. if you wanna, because that's how they make the money. They're the ones. Yeah, it's what make if you wanna protect your your family, mm. you have to be gangster because your top people give you respect, mm. and uh, either you make money or at least they give you respect, and you just you just gangster like what you, you know the mentality we call gangster mentality, which is we have rules, you know, street rules, you know, um, and uh, like. Uh, the, the even police was going like if you have some fights and conflicts if somebody did something wrong you go to gangster and they they are street judges you know interesting yeah it's uh and then that was the life uh, we're growing up it was no money the lot of, lot of robberies lot of lot of stoning like whatever but uh and uh so but 2003 we have a new government mm -hmm. and um, the the old police go home new police, new army, new doctors, new teachers, like no corruption, like no corruption. Oh, wow. Because the, when we was poor, after lots talking, then, then lots right. of corruption, lots of fucked up, lots of criminal, you know what I'm saying? But after 2023, the economic, everything go up, tourists, because we have beautiful territory. And, uh, and then now, very clean, very safe, you know, and then of course, like, um, um, we still have a lot of immigrants, you know, like they go in Europe for work, whatever. Yeah. But uh, we are top people. Very, we love visitors. We love guests. We are friends with Europe. We are friends with U.S. Always been, you know, uh, NATO and uh, the U.S. Army stay or come training with us. And we are like we we don't like like um this like Russian politics, Russian, yeah. Russian <laughs> politics. Like of course like North Korea politics and like something. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want, we want just freedom. We yeah. just want to... Be free, yeah. Keep free, free, and then the good stuff. And so this is... Okay, yeah. My life, I you know, I, I born and grew up in a village. And especially when I born, that that's where war happened. It was like all country, you know, like the economy was down. And then by when I was nine, I moved to Capital City. Mm -hmm. And um, I grew up kind of like a... Like... My family never had money, but we always like my my father always make money good way. He teaches us yeah. good things, you know. But yeah, getting getting honor I think is more than ha is a lot more important than having lots of money. If your father teaches right. you honor, that's more important. Right. Yeah. So, Are you uh, really famous in Georgia now, or is UFC oh not that big? Are you like a superstar over there? Now today, even like eighty or so lady knows about <laughs> UFC and know about me. And uh, when I tell you that, trust me on that, man, very popular because it's a big deal as a Georgian Merab is first, fighting. the first champion of the world. Yeah, it's no, a big deal. Only the, even I was fighting UFC, and then you, the, every time I fought the UFC, mm -hmm. it, they show news in national TV, newspaper, every TV, of course. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. The Georgian Merab fighting in, U, in US, in UFC, yeah. and then for this fight, this now fight, this yeah. fight. Yeah, man. But, uh, well, I everybody, every Georgian knows me. I can bet, you know? Yeah, it must be crazy to go yeah, back now, especially sure. after this fight. It's going to be 10 times oh bigger. Oh, my God, yes. I said just being in the UFC was massive, but now you're the actual champ. It's going to be huge. You know what? I, three or four years ago, I was in Georgia, and then I stay hotel, um, uh, and uh, the cleaner lady, oh, my God, you met up. Like, and then I realized, like, she's an old lady, you know, cleaner lady. I'm like, I realized... I'm really popular here because even like of course yeah. people young people whatever mm -hmm. but but like a cleaning yeah because like mostly like uh, young people that watch fighting in the U.S. yeah but when, like, regular older people know you that's when like oh I'm actually famous yeah so it's got to be a weird feeling going back there and being like oh I'm a star now yeah man it's so crazy yeah a couple things to wrap up well real quick would you um would you ever do a tournament like ADCC for the because you're one of the best grapplers in the world people don't know that's so like that the it's like the Olympics <clears throat> of grappling okay I have a, so much respect for Jiu Jitsu people and the, who really training grappling and jujitsu mm -hmm. all day every day and uh then i would uh of course i would like to challenge myself uh but uh, i will do ju uh so but you know you know 
it's just hard when there's so much money yeah, in it's the UFC, hard, right? It's not, but right. It is, uh, yeah, I like think your style is actually good for ADCC because yeah. you're not allowed to pull guard. Uh, so your takedowns are actually are crucial. Okay, interesting. Maybe. Yeah, or they but, penalize you for pulling guard. So. Wow, interesting. Yeah, I would like to try. But so I would like to do jujitsu matches with the fighters, you know. Yeah. Fighters, good. Yeah, so you would do big one off like submission matches. Like the UFC has, a, I forget what it's called, but they have a submission show now. They're doing right, the UFC like fight that would pass. Be good. That would That'd be, be great to see you that on there. Good, good. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. If you, you, you are the you are the man here who I can ask advice. And so if you say the stylistically, so yeah, I don't, I don't even. I think you match up great for ADCC because they lose points for pulling guard. It's not uh, like the regular jitsu where they could just pull guard uh, okay, and then attack sense. you. And then if they're attacking more, they can be oh, like, oh, they this lay guy down, won by or they bat, Yeah, they lose a point in ADCC for that. Okay, so okay. They really get a negative point. Because well. I did two times like uh, jujitsu, and then the guy, the we, me and Aljo, we lost like the same guy. The guy was just sit, but good coming, bro. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? He don't let me pass, mm -hmm. but I cannot do like what I try attack, and it's like but scooping, you know? Yeah, like, they can they can but scoot ADCC, but they're just not allowed to, or they lose a point for it. So if they don't uh, submit you, then you get a point. Okay. So I think it'd be interesting. You'd need to train a little jitsu for it, but I think you could do well there. We were at the um. Craig Jones Invitational a few weeks ago, and I seen, you go, I seen you go after someone in the stands. <laughs> what happened there? Someone was heckling you, and you like went after him. But you know, we are tough people. We are fighters. Yeah. You know, we all respect each other. And if I say something to you, I mean it. You know, what I'm saying like, exactly. Yeah. So and then I'm sitting there watching jujitsu, enjoying moment, mm -hmm. beautiful place, um, good people, everybody respectful, of course. And then one guy screaming, "You're a." Sean is your daddy. <laughs> fuck. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, you know, like, mm -hmm. look the guy. I'm like, shut up. This guy, oh, yeah, yeah. He's laughing at me. Yeah, Sean is your daddy. I'm like, shut up, bitch. Like, <laughs> and then I get up and I'm like, he's, I look to him, you yeah. know, he must stop. Like, you know, bro, okay, make fun. Okay, now calm down. You know, saying, mm -hmm. you look at me as a man. And then, and I said, come come here and say my f pace. Of course, he's not, he's doing it. I'm like, I can't. Like, now I'm like, have a conversation. I have to, I have to bully him back, you know? Yeah. And then I, I, I decided to go. And then after I saw him, yeah, yeah. But now I, I'm not going to stop it. I'm going to come to you. Yeah. And I'm going to keep saying my face. And then, of course, he like, he back up and I'm like, look at him. I'm like, this is a fucking loser with the long hair. I'm like I can't fucking slap, I can punch, but of course I. You might get arrested. Right, yeah, we're just right. in a cowardly society where guys think they can run their mouth without getting hit. But we yeah. come from a world of the fight gym. Yeah. If we talk crap to each other, we're gonna, we're gonna fight. Yeah, you know? it's man. like if someone talks crap and no one's gonna break it up. There, it happens at the gym sometimes. <laughs> someone talks crap and you get in a fight, and right. it's like that's the world we come from. Some, yeah. some guys yap in their mouth. I actually had some fighter um, with what was his name, Mike Jackson. He's a terrible yeah. fighter at the uh, UFCPI. Uh, he was yapping to me, and then I beat him up, and he pressed charges. Motherfucker, yeah, what that's a, fucking what a piece yeah, of piece shit. Of right? shit. That's a like fucking out of fight, piece of shit. He talks shit to me and I beat yeah. his ass. And he Especially the fighter do that and fucking the and then the you are fucking bro, fuck, you know like what the fuck is this? Yeah, just be man. Yeah, that guy's pathetic. Yeah, and the fight gym, but that's a, that, that's a rare you know. Usually there's fights in gyms. It's no big deal. Guys are often hug, hugging after and friends yeah, afterwards. Exactly, it, it happens right? sometimes. Right. But we and come then, from like, a real world where shit's real. Yeah, man, like there's fuck, and then the man, the go, the fucking for the fight, you go press charger, you go fucking ask police something, like what the fuck? Pathetic people. I also saw you jump over a railing at the, another UFC, yeah. and someone was yapping off to, you and you literally leaped up, climbed up the. Yeah. I believe that was you, right? You climbed up the thing <laughs> after another guy. Yeah, yeah, he was, he was a bad guy, but like he just don't shut up. Like he was t telling me something. That makes he said like Aljo is over there. I'm there. He's like, hey Marab, you should fight Aljo. You know, in my state, you guys will be good fight, bro. What the hell, bro? Come, on, come on, shut up. What the fuck? I'm not fighting Aljo. Like, come on, like, so, yo, you should fight. I'm like, bro. That's my friend. Like, yeah, yeah like, what the fuck are you doing, bro? I mean, it, even imagine it, like. If somebody tell you to fight Nick Diaz now, yeah, I don't say shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm not, I'm and I said, come I'm here, come here. Fights, people, guys go, oh, fuck Nick Diaz and try to take a picture with me. It's like, get the fuck away from me. You think you could say fuck one of my friends and take a picture with me? It's like, I don't work that way. You can't disrespect my friend and then act like your friends to me. Some people, yeah. they have no loyalty and no, no, no real friends. They think they could be like, fuck Aljo and then act like you're his friend. It's like, no, if you're disrespecting my friend, you're of disrespecting course, me. Exactly. Sorry. These guys just have no loyalty.
Yeah, and then I just wanted to like, um, uh, yeah, make him run, and that's why I jumped there, and then he ran. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you literally climbed up like the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I went just Spider Man on him. So I wanted to bully in the back, you know, just make them like a thing to realize that this we are real, you know, we cannot just it's not internet. No. You talk shit, and then nobody will ask you something. Even internet, they should something to respond. When you talk, how you fucking dare you to talk some fight there like that yeah. shit. I've, it was only one time that I smacked a fan because it was after the Nate Diaz, the second um, Connor fight. I was in a bad mood. He lost that close decision. I was walking through, and like 10 Irish guys come to my face being like, fuck Nate, fuck Nate. Fuck so I turned man, around and just stupid. slapped one of those dudes, dropped yeah. them. I thought they were going to all try to jump me, but then all the other Irish dudes started clowning on the guy I dropped, and I'm just like, what do these dudes think they could just come up to me and disrespect me after my friend just lost? Yeah. And then I get an elevator, and other dude's like, fuck Nate, try to take a picture with me. I'm like, get the fuck away from me, bro. Yeah. I'm in a bad mood. My friend yeah. just lost, and these yeah. guys think they could just disrespect them and, uh I didn't like Irish for like a year after that, but now I like the Irish. <laughs> like, all right, they, they grew on me. For, for a year yeah. after, I was like, fuck those Irish people. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's wrap up in a second. I have a few audience questions I'd like to end with. Let's see. see if they, Sometimes they have good questions. Sometimes they're stupid. Let's okay, see what they throw okay. at me. We'll just end a few of these, and then uh, let's see. You know, I just had to list your guy. Why did you yank your shirt off when the girl fighter started twerking on you earlier today? I mean, that's that's the right thing to do. I think take your shirt off. <laughs> make uh, make more fun. So yeah, so this girl asked me to take a picture, and um, and then after we finished, she's like pointing down there. I'm like, what she's doing? Like I don't know what what she wants to make a video, and mm. then I said, I mean, I don't know what you want, but I can slap your ass if you. <laughs> <laughs> And then, like, when she went around, and, oh, yeah, what happened was I realized the guy was taking video. Mm -hmm. Like, if you take video, I'm fine with that. And, okay, then uh, you want to you wanna oh, make so that? Yeah. I'm going to keep it fun. And then they take a stisto. Yeah, I hate it when we think people are doing photos and they're doing video, and it's kind of weird. You're, like, posing for a photo, and they're filming you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then I, I, I realized I have to do something, and I, I keep it fun, you know. Good answer. So, uh, okay, here's an interesting question. How did Georgians view Stalin? How Georgian uh, Stalin from Russia, the um, the dictator, probably not very well, right? He was the he was the dictator that ran Soviet Union for uh, Stalin for a bunch of years. Yes. No, no. How uh, it, how do you view Stalin? He was a dictator. Uh, Stalin. Charged, so, Soviet oh, he's Union. a yeah. bad guy. We yeah, don't we I, don't I, love I assume him. you guys don't like we him don't at all. But okay, he I don't think even he was in Georgia. He born in Georgia, but when he was a young kid, a little kid, he left some mm -hmm. other country. He oh, he was born in Georgia. He I didn't destroyed know that. Georgia. He destroyed other country. He's terrible fucking person, yeah. terrible, terrible man. Person. Yeah, like like now when I talk this, a lot of people will uh like you know like they still have some little Bullshit, bullshit people yeah. and i fucking you've seen you've seen it with I your own eyes the he, terrible that he's man done, yeah. he was killing people he was terrible we we hit him you know he was dictator fucking piece of shit you know fuck him and fuck the people who likes him you know yeah that's what i figured your answer would be yeah. right. okay let's do a couple more of these real quick okay the guy asked about patchy we already talked about him um when you feel being do you, when when he feels he's being disrespected by an opponent in the build-up to a match do you think that makes him perform better I think we kind of answered that probably right yeah i think so if the opponent like so actually when i face omali mm -hmm. a long answer is fine uh, yeah. Probably, yeah. when i when i see him when a hunter called me mm -hmm. that i have i was fighting omali wow yeah of course i was happy because i i wasn't sure up until two months before my fight mm -hmm. i was fighting him you know i was making all these kids videos i knew but i don't have contract nobody promised yeah. me you know like yeah, after I beat Peter, I know I was gonna fight for the belt, but O'Malley chose to number six Cheeto Vera, so I was still not that sure. Oh, that's right. You should have been a lion, and Cheeto kind yeah. of stepped in front of you. Yeah. So, but anyway, so but when I went, they said, okay, now we're gonna do production. Come to the at the spare. We're gonna do this, this face off. And then I saw him. I was so happy. And he's he asked me, you want a left hand? You want a right side? I'm gonna I'm gonna break your nose. I'm gonna knock you out. Mm -hmm. And he said he O'Malley told me. First he words he say, "Welcome to Big Show, Merab. Have you ever been main event?" Like he was make fun of me. Like I, I'm like, yeah. he's like he acting like I don't deserve. I say, "Yeah, sure. I, I, I remember when I beat Peter Ian. Yeah, I right. said, yeah, I was main event. I'm like, oh, he don't well, like that. Up until Aljo, he had a fairly padded record, too. Once he beat Aljo is when I go, okay, this guy's legit. But until then, he hadn't he, fought in the level of talent. Right, that exactly. Then we you know. He just fucking run, run, run with mm -hmm. Aljo, 
and fucking one punch, mm-hmm. good timing. And the, we know that everybody can yeah. get caught like this. It was this. great timing, but yeah, exactly. like it was one copy, punch. Yeah, copy you know, punch yeah. uh, McGregor like this, you know, mm-hmm. one punch, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you know, I think he got him a little frustrated, got him chasing a little bit, and he right. a little bit and off then, timing and caught it. And then, I don't know, like, the stoppage. I don't fucking mm-hmm. agree with this stoppage. It was the, Aljo was defending. He was doing jujitsu, trying something. Margot tell him, move. He moved, and he stopped, bro. The fuck? Anyways, yeah. Okay, let's hit, like, one or two more <laughs> of these real quick. Are you America first or Georgia first? That's a good question. Georgia first, for sure. I love my country first. Then I love America first, for sure. No, second for sure because I I, I born mm. in Georgia, uh, and I, I love I, I learned the love from my country like you know to how to love your country, how to support your country, how to fight for your country, mm. and then I learned here in, in United States. You know I learned of course you know and I I, I have a love for um, uh, America too, but you know Georgia always will be in my heart, yeah. and uh, you know so you know like it's like a Father or mother, but uh, you, you know, know both. Yeah, uh, yeah, one. both of course. But like Georgia, yeah. if I, I mean, you know, Georgia. Do you for think you retire back there, or think you stay in the U.S. or you don't really know yet? I don't really know yet, uh, but for sure, like right now, like uh, I, I like to be live here because I am more, more uh, for training, yeah. more focus for training, more cool, more focus, uh, more business, more great, great things, you know. Georgia, like everybody will stop me. I, I won't be able to train, do go grocery yeah. or stuff like this. And like um, and uh, I, I I will continue to do great things for America, great things for Georgia, whatever I can. You know, mm-hmm. like whatever citizen can do for countries and inspire people, training, training other people. You know, things like that. You know. Okay, let's see. Let's get one more. See if things look interesting. Not uh, interesting. Where do you get your sense of humor? That dude is fucking funny. That dude is you. <laughs> I said, I don't know. You know, I'm a little bit crazy. I can be all fighters. Yeah, we're all a little bit crazy. All of us fighters. We're a little bit crazy. Little bit. We don't just go in cages and fight people for no reason. Yeah. We're all, something's wrong with us. Yeah, for sure. But listen, like, we, 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 we lost, we win, we both been highest and lowest, mm. and we've been shame you know not a shame like you know we've been embarrassed sometimes you know like things like that and then i'm just natural you know i'm just trying to be funny you know i'm just trying to try to be good person and just positive and i'm not afraid to make fun of myself yeah you know what i'm saying or like uh, acting like a cool i'm not faking nothing yeah you just like to have a good time you're yeah not, you're not exactly. trying to be too cool some of these guys you know just acting all cool all the time you're just trying right. to have fun yeah, I am who I am, you know. But you're I'm always not, easy to get along with. Like I said, we don't hang out that much, but we've always got along so great. We've hung yeah. out and trained. Thank you, Jake. So. And I have so much respect for you, man. You are a harder worker. You are, I mean, you fought the best of the best, and now you're still teaching guys, mm-hmm. show the, you know, doing, share your knowledge with them and make them fighters the job even yeah easier. i've just been involved in martial arts so many years it feels good to still train stay in shape and give back and teach guys like you're more than welcome anytime just hit me up i'll always come in and work some jiu-jitsu with you or anything you want to work good. you know i don't want anything back from a turn i just love i just love you know teaching the top guys and you're already so good but there's still as you know there's still more you can learn for sure. i could obviously love to learn a few of your takedowns too yeah so. yeah for sure but i would love to yeah. uh take your technique no learn your technique some uh, then for sure like Especially now, uh, now I know, okay, we talk after this yeah, coming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. any, any, anything before we wrap up you want to uh, discuss or anything you want to plug, where to find you, like your social media? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> so everywhere, in Instagram, Twitter, or X, or whatever, everywhere, my name is Merab Dualishvili, just like this. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I make some funny videos and sometimes I fight too, you know. Yeah. Where, are your, where are your videos, on YouTube or where can people find those? I do have a YouTube channel, uh, but um, more, more, more. I'm pushing Just more Instagram, on Instagram, Instagram and stuff. Yeah, yeah Instagram. Cool, man. Oh, hey, uh, great, great talking. Jake, I appreciate it.